The thing we found is that once people buy an electric vehicle, they're obviously not subscribing to all that anti-renewables, anti-EV crap that's out there, okay? That they actually realize that an EV is a comfy car to drive and it's cheap to run. And then they think, oh, I used to time my petrol purchases to say Thursday when yeah. the price cycle yeah. made the prices cheaper. Yeah. What will I do now to secure my fuel supply, to give me low cost fuel? Yeah. They all think, oh, I'll bring forward that idea I've had for a long time to get solar and I'll put yeah. solar on my roof. So the 70 or 80% of Australians who live in detached houses where you can put a solar system on the roof, they'll rush out and they'll get that average 11 kilowatt system or they'll get a bigger system. They'll put it on the roof and now they've got enough energy summer and winter that they've prepaid for. They've, they've put their down payment for, they're hedged. No one's going to come and increase their fuel price in the future. They've bought a car for 15 years or 10 years or whatever. They've bought energy for 15 years and the price isn't going to change. They've prepaid it and now they're effectively from then on charging for free. I mean, what I like about renewable energy as well is that it's made here. Uh, when we get oil or when we get petrol, it's always coming from overseas. And it's uh, causing war and conflicts. Well, that's right. And then if there was a big conflict that may occur, I mean, we're going to have issues getting oil to this country as well.